What's going on, guys? And we are specifically hearing now that our man, David Roddy, from Colorado State, who now has been on the Grizzlies for the last two years, is being traded. Yep. If you guys haven't been figuring it out or following, not figuring it out, Mr. Shamsharani. Yeah, Shamsharani, I finally beat Mr. Woj today, but... Memphis is sending David Roddy to the Suns for a pick swap as part of a three-way deal with Phoenix and Brooklyn. The Suns pick up Royce O'Neal and David Roddy for their postseason rotation. Shops around the Suns retain assets after this three-team deal for O'Neal and Roddy, including a second rounder and pick swaps. What else do we have? That's so far what we know. We're trying to see what Brooklyn's going to get, but... What are you getting in David? First off, Royce O'Neal is a guy, 8, 5, and 3. Love Royce O'Neal. He can literally play two, the 2, the 3, the 4. All right. He's a solid rebounder, solid three-point shooter. Primarily only takes three-point shots, but fantastic. Looking at the contracts, you assume that Naz Little is going to Brooklyn. And I, I like the deal. I'm not necessarily impressed. But I do believe that this is a deal that when you look at a guy like David Roddy, I first thought David Roddy's, they got two guys who can play both forward spots and arguably they can go big lineups. David Roddy, you know, he's like 6'5 with like a seven foot wingspan, physical as hell. He's kind of like a, a younger, more athletic, bigger, like PJ Tucker with more skill. And I, I really do think that like, hey, we, if you're a Suns fan, you got yourself a good player who has a few more years on his deal from his rookie season. He's cheap as hell. And then, of course, you guys all know that I'm a Royce O'Neal fan. Have been for a while. He's a guy who's just disruptive. He can play wing or forward. He's really smart defensively. He can hold his own offensively because he's a decent three point shooter, like respectful. And he can pass. Okay. He knows his role. They, they got similar size guys. So Royce O'Neal this season is averaging in about like 20, I think it's like 23 minutes a night. What is 24 and a half minutes a night? Seven and a half points, four and a half rebounds, 2.8 assists. Okay. Shooting, you know, primarily threes, just under 40. While you have David Roddy this season, who's actually getting a bit more run due to the injuries, playing 23 minutes a night, eight and a half points, four rebounds, and 1.6 assists. But. I definitely do think this was a good deal for the Grizzlies because I think they're they're in a gap year and I think they're realizing that maybe David Roddy wasn't fitting what they wanted and they walk away with some kind of draft pick compensation. Granted, David Roddy was a first round pick. That's, I wonder if that there was some push from his agent and stuff to get him off this team. There, there could have been that, but like, look, he's 22. It's not like... In his second season, not like he had that much pull. But he could have been that a cancer where they just said, get the hell off the team. Which is always a possibility. But who do I know? I do think it's an interesting deal. And with more and more time that passes, I want to see if we got specification. If it is Nas Little that is heading part of that deal. And Phoenix now has two roster spots open as part of the buyout. Yeah, let's see this David Roddy deal. I think it Naz Little has to be going over to Brooklyn. Three, yeah, three second round picks and Naz Littles. That's it. So, who confirmed this? Yeah, so Royce O'Neal is going to Phoenix for three second round picks. And Naz Little is going to Brooklyn, so... Yeah, damn, not a bad deal.